So what is going on guys? Welcome to another Plants vs Zombies Heroes video here today on the channel. Today we're going to take it on another daily challenge called the Mastery Monday. Now before we do get into that, there has been a slight little update in the game. The first one is to do with some of the cards. They've actually made a few changes to some of the cards. The first one that they've changed is the garlic. Now this now has one attack and five health. I believe originally it was one attack and four health, so they have changed that. Also on the zombie side, uh, this card here, the secret agent, it bounces a zombie and it gets three attack and three health. People was getting this from like uh, the chemist and things like that. And once you bounce the zombie, it was only buffing them by two attack and two health. So that bug has also been fixed as well. And there was also a little bug where you could get a 99 brain card, and I, I completely forgot what it was called. It was like a mystery thing, and it was like 99 brains, and I don't think you could actually use it. Uh, I think that's been removed as well. Apparently, it was just the plumber from the tutorial. I generally have no idea, but probably the biggest change in this update is the gems. Now, when you watch ads, you usually get yourself 10 gems. You only get 5 per ad now, which is a little bit of a shame for those that uh, do watch the the, uh, the ads all the time and you haven't spent any money at all on packs. Like me personally, I have spent uh, over £100 on packs in this game. Uh, I opened uh, the early access bundle for uh, for the health nuts. I also got the spring and in bundle and I've also opened uh, some of these packs for money as well. So uh, for those that watch the ads and rely on gems, you're not going to be able to get as many as possible, which is a little bit of a shame. Some people have suggested maybe uh, increasing the gems that you can get for quests. For example, give 20 uh, gems for each one of these uh, and keep the, uh, the keep the epic ones at still 100 gems because them going up to 200 gems would be pretty crazy. But those are all the changes that we've had. We're going to be taking on the daily challenge today. Unfortunately, I missed the, fi uh, the first day, but we are going to be taking on the final day today. And you get so many tickets from doing the daily challenges. Like, tomorrow is going to be the start of the new week of daily challenges. And at the end of that week, if you complete all seven daily challenges, you will get yourself a premium pack. Now, that's not including all of the tickets you'll get for these daily challenges. You'll get 100 tickets for each daily challenge you complete. So that right away is 700 tickets. Also, for three wins in the week, you get 200 tickets. And five wins, you get 300 tickets. So in total, just for doing all seven daily challenges you've already got yourself 1200 tickets and that's not including uh, including your bonuses in multiplayer games where you can have a uh, 10 times uh, plus the hero so it could be an extra 150 tickets per day there as well so this is a really good way of getting a lot more tickets so you can unlock the uh, event cards currently right now it's snake grass but that's going to be ending very shortly and we're going to be getting another event card. But let's head into this daily challenge. It's called Mastery Monday. Whatever you do, deal with that snake grass fast. Super Brains, will hit home, Super Brains hit home strategy deck will get the job done. So we're going to be playing against Captain Combustible. He's going to have himself a snake grass on the board already. Where is it going to be though? Hopefully it's not too far to the left. Because, uh, alright, that's fine. It's already too far. It's already at the left. Uh, so we want to take that snake grass out before we take out the water lane because once there's a snake grass in the water lane at the end of a round It'll just create another one. So whatever you do deal with that snake grass fast Super Brains hit home strategy deck will get the job done and it's actually Dr. Zomboss I'm wondering what what this gravestone's gonna be as well. I'm curious what it's gonna be Hmm, what could it be? I'm just trying to think of a, a strategy I could use on turn one. I generally have no idea What is this card? It's a smelly zombie. Alright, well, we're going to take that out straight away then, aren't we? <laughs> Unless he's got a Grave Buster. Alright, that's fine. We're going to get this snake grass down straight away. We're just going to move it. There we go. We'll move it. We're going to lose the smelly zombie, but at least the snake grass is going to be taken out. And uh, we don't need to worry about that anymore. So, that's the kind of hard challenge that we needed to take care of. All we can do now is just try and win the game. So, I think I'm going to wait here just because if he does have a trick that's going to take out my um, my ninjas, ninja imp, then that's going to be a bit of a problem. So, we've got three brains now. We're going to barrel zombie. Should we place the barrel zombie down or should we go for the this one? Oh, that's a hard call. I think I'm going to go for the barrel zombie, actually, just so our imps can get deadly. This is an imp as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's an imp as well. You're going to get a gross room. That's not going to buff anything right there. 
So uh, that's absolutely fine. We're going to get two attack on the board here as well. We're going to trade uh, damage. We both block one as well. So already so far, starting out reasonably well. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with this so far. All right, let's place two anti-heroes down as well, I think. We'll place two anti-heroes down. Hopefully, he doesn't block uh, both of those lanes. But they are deadly as well, so we should be able to take the zombies out, provided we don't get destroyed by a trick. He puts a sweet potato down. That's fine. You put another sweet potato down. What are you going to move? Are you going to move the ninja imp? Yeah. No. So, we're going to be able to take both of these sweet potatoes out, but we're going to lose the ninja imp. Unfortunately, it is the ninja imp, isn't it? Mini ninja. I call him ninja imp. I don't know why. But uh, we still got two on the board right now. We've also got this here, which is going to be very handy. What should I do? Hmm. Alright, we'll place that in the middle lane. And, uh... We will move uh, a zombie if we need to. Just so I can try and get as much damage done as possible. If we can get both of these anti-heroes to hit right now, that's going to be really good. Alright, you're moving the zombie. You're going to move my... Uh, I'm guessing you're going to move uh, him over there. Yes, you are. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this right over there. So we're actually going to deal... Uh, why did I move you? Why did I move you? <laughs> no, I made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake already. Alright, I'm going to use this deadly just so I can take that card out on the right. Because he's got deadly now, but as soon as my imp dies, it's going to lose deadly. I moved the wrong card. I could have done an extra six damage to him. No. I made a mistake. Hopefully that doesn't come back to hit uh, to hurt me. Oh, that was bad. That was a, uh, that was a bad mistake. Oops. Alright, we'll put a pogo zombie down so we can bounce something that goes in the left lane. And hopefully that's going to be good enough so we can still win it. What are you going to place down? A po potted house. Alright, well... If we bounce this as well, if we get the blocks right, we will win the game at the end of this round. So, uh, hopefully we, we can get uh, some kind blocks. You block two, come on, don't block three. Do not block three. Yes, there we go. There's the final win for the daily challenges. Tomorrow we're going to get the start of a brand new week, so you can start off your tickets uh, once again. I can't believe I missed the first day as well. But uh, there we go. We got our daily reward. Unfortunately, those tickets aren't going to do anything for us. But make sure you guys do check out the daily challenges. This is actually a re relatively easy daily challenge compared to the last one. But there we go. We've completed six out of the seven. I'm going to do these every single day. If you do want to see some more of these daily challenges on my channel, whether it being maybe a way to beat the daily challenge if you're struggling, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Exfusions, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.